Okay. Man, I'm hot. But that wind See? is cold. What wind? There was like wind. It was cold. <laughs> I was cold. She on. just put her jacket on yeah, five no, seconds I ago. <laughs> I have like early onset menopause. I was really hot. I was like, usually I'm really cold on the plane, so I was dressed in layers. Uh -huh. But then this time I was like, why are is the heat on? And then even when we got here, I was like, why is this airport so hot? Yeah, the airport was hot. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought it was just me, but I heard other people were like, hey, is it hot in here? It's just me. And they're like, yeah, it is hot. She's like, good, because I was getting like hot flashes or something. I was like, yeah, it is hot. In my mind, I was like talking to them too, like, yeah, it was really hot. <laughs> yeah. Cause, and then like yesterday in the hotel, I was staying in, they don't have air conditioning. And these Americans. In your hotel? Yeah, in my hotel. And then there's these American who came in and they were asking her like, is there air conditioning in the room? And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh. They were like, no, we actually don't have air conditioning in our buildings at all. He's like, what you see above you is like a heating system to heat the floors, but it's not a air conditioning system. Does it not really get that hot here? I guess not. But that's like a lot of places in Europe that don't have air conditioning. And it's like they build new buildings that don't have a central air system. And they were just so pissed. Come they on, were guys. So deflated. Global warming, you're going to need it soon. <laughs> they were so deflated about not having it. I mean, it's not that bad. It wasn't. I opened the window and I pulled that cover out of there, but there's a fat too. I mean, we'll probably be cooler also because we're um, near the water at night. I think it'll be cooler. Maybe. That's how it is in Boston. This is so scenic. I know. So place is scenic. So, rice is over, both of them. Uh, they went okay. And the second one was okay. The first one was bad. I like forgot how to run 100 basically. So no. like, So like I um, didn't drive out very long. I didn't drive out very long and then I just, I don't know, I had a good start but then I just stood straight up and just just running like crazy. Um, I didn't lift my knees. I've been working on my knee lift. And I feel like when I get that down, my times will be crazy. I mean, not crazy bad. I don't know. Well, that was prelims, but the second round, um, I worked on like knee lift a lot during like my warm up, and then I like rem like I just told myself like drive longer, and I mean the driving part worked, and then the knee lift worked a little pretty much a lot, but then uh, then what happened? And the knee lift worked for a little bit, and then. I just got tired basically because I'm not used to it. So it's just something to work on for this coming week. My next race is in Barcelona. It's a 200. So yeah, that'll be fun. Stay tuned.